Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, this is just kind of a, a warning, you could say. Um, oh, shoot. Let me snooze that. Okay, it's a reminder, since I tend to forget things. Okay, first of all, I got a thing from a friend of mine on a supposed... Um, well, let me just go ahead and read it. I wasn't going to. I was going to summarize it, but my brain just went blank. It's about Gettysburg. All right. This is starts off. Maybe true, maybe not. Question mark, question mark. Arm up and be ready if the S-H-T-F. If you don't know what that means, uh, if things go bad. We are being tested. Antifa plan, colon. This has been confirmed by the Gettysburg Police Department and they leave a number, which I called. And they deny knowing anything about this. Um, she tells me, my friend says, I received this in an email, FYI, Tuesday, June 23rd at 11.59. Now, that's been a while ago. Please be aware, this July 4th, she's texting me back. I told her don't bother sending any more of it because, um, the it's saying that 30,000 members per state, many trained by radical Islam, they plan on killing as many Trump supporters and whites as possible. Antifa to desecrate Gettysburg National Cemetery on July the 4th, then murder and burn white suburbs under cover of fireworks. Antifa is planning to desecrate the Gettysburg National Cemetery by burning flags there on July 4th, just before they begin murdering white people and burning down suburbs the same day. It will start at the desecration of the Union soldier graves at Gettysburg, and it goes on. According to the Controlled Unclassified Law Enforcement Bulletin issued as law enforcement sensitive for official use only to police and fire departments about Antifa already using fireworks to acclimate suburbia with sounds of explosions so they can use those to cover for gunfire when they attack. Okay, the, the, the recording that I got, they, this number here says... If you need to speak to someone about police business, call, and they give you another number. This one, they have left a recording. <laughs> They've been inundated or uh, overrun with a bunch of calls trying to verify this. They said they do not know anything about it. There's uh, this part about the law enforcement sensitive for official use only. To police and fire department, that's not true. They never put that bulletin out to their uh, fellow cops and fire people. Okay, so in other words, if this if this were true, whoever put this out tried to use the Gettysburg Police Department to spread it. So I'm saying fear porn. Okay. Having said that, if you choose to go out on July the 4th and participate in your town's fireworks display, I'd stay in my car and watch as best as I could or don't even go. Park far away from the main event. I mean, I love fireworks too. And this year, I get to watch them right over there. Well, actually, it's over here. I have to sit in that chair and look that way. But 
you can see them from the second floor out in the garage too. I don't have to go anywhere near them, but one year we did. And should something like that happen, we could have been caught up in it, you know. So I would just stay home or don't go very close to them, just close enough to see them. I know kids love them and even adults and people have fun doing it. But after that one year, we just bought our own and did what we could at our house. Okay, now I'm on this page that I got in my email and it's called Natural News, Defending Health, Life, and Liberty. And under that is Explore More. So they support Newstarget.com, Brideon.com, Censored.News, and NaturalNewsRadio.com. And they have a store. Now, a lot of this may sound like the same kind of thing. I'm just, uh, I have no way of knowing, but some of you are really good reporters and can find out if any of this is true or not. Because I just don't have time, nor the mental ability to do that much reading. All right, the top story line is it's just open terrorism now as the BLM supporter seen on video and they've, they've got a still shot seen on video firing gun and that's not just a any old gun that looks like an automatic weapon to me into an SUV trying to escape the mob in Provo, Utah. And that is, was Wednesday, July the 1st by J.D. Hayes, H-E-Y-E-S. Okay, so that's, uh, and that's mentioned in these, sh these short little blurbs. Breaking. This is really tiny, so I got to lean in. Thousands, now I know this is not right. This cannot be right. So just, you know, I, I hate to even mention some of these, but it says breaking. Thousands of guillotines pre-positioned across America for left-wing terrorists to execute conservatives. Now, we've always been taught FEMA's got them anyway, but not for this reason. But they want to, it's for left-wing terrorists to execute conservatives, Christians, and whites in the unfolding civil war. And I don't believe that. I don't, I just don't believe it. So should I even bother reading any of the rest? Is this all just, you know, fear porn? I hate to put it that way. I typed that into my friend about that article being fear porn. And, <laughs> and the, my phone put the P asterisk asterisk asterisk. It wouldn't even spell out the word porn. So I guess we're not supposed to say that. But this next one says Black Lives Matter upgrades rules of engagement. That's R-O-E. To shoot people in vehicles. Protester shoots unarmed elderly man in a vehicle. Chaz Security opens fire on black Teens in Seattle. Okay, well now we know that Chaz or Chop has been dismantled. It is no more. So how old is that story? So I think that um, I'm not even going to waste your time with this. I will put the link if you want to read these and pray about them. You know, horrible enough things are happening everywhere. We all need to just be cautious 
with, about where we go. If we want the Lord's protection, we don't need to go out into the world doing worldly activities, right? I mean, if you have to drive down to your local grocery store and or oh, shoot, let me snooze it one more time. Okay, let's just all be cautious about where you have to go. Do you have to go there? Can you go to another one that's not near a downtown area? Okay, this is what I'm saying. Try to stay away from if you live downtown like me, of course, I don't drive. I don't plan to go anywhere. They're not taking us anywhere. So, um, I don't think this is such a good source. That's my honest opinion. But I'll leave the link, and you can read all those little stories on the left if you want to. Okay? With that, I say bye for now. I'm going to talk to you. Oh, by the way. I did a video this morning, and I'm waiting to see if it'll go up, but I uploaded it from my iMovie. Remember I was telling you every time I try to use iMovie to put videos together? Well, I was just playing around with it. I took the video I recorded from my Bible reading, and it's a good one. And I took out all my um and dead spaces and put in transitions and added little, uh, you know, how people will put words like where I made a mistake and called my computer a cell phone. <laughs> I said I meant my computer. Anyway, so I was doing all that to see could I upload a video. Will they now let me? It's not up yet, and it's been like four hours. Yeah, because I laid down at 11, and it's nearly 3.30. And I tried again when I got up in a different way. There's two different ways you can upload. So we'll see if they come up. And if they're not up by 8, I'm just going to upload the one on my desktop that I used in the movie program to cut out the ums and the errors okay so because you know I always say one word and I'm sure y'all figure out I meant another word <laughs> it just happens <laughs> my brain you know don't we all do that though really <laughs> anyway so with that I'll say bye for now I will talk to you later